Hey, it's been a while. All right, I know that I have not uploaded a video in about four weeks, which is not okay. And I definitely have my reasons for this, but I'll explain all that at the end of the video. So just for now, enjoy this video. We are here at Origins doing the extreme starting room challenge. So here's the thing. I did a poll on Twitter just to ask you guys, you know, I'm going to do an extreme starting room challenge. Which map out of the ones I chose randomly do you want to see? And you guys chose Origins. So we're doing Origins. And if you do not know the rules of this challenge, you're new to my channel. Here are the rules. So it's basically just like a starting room challenge, but there's one little twist to it. So you get five rounds to go outside the starting room and do whatever you want, get whatever setup you need to succeed. And then you just, after round five, survive as long as you can in the starting room. You cannot go out of the starting room for any means necessary. So, let's just do this. So I want to save this double points until probably about round four or five because I feel like that way I have more zombies spawned in, more zombies to kill, and therefore getting more points so I can do more things. No! Are you kidding me? Alright, remember, no quitsies though. We gotta maintain composure. Just keep going on. Just keep our go on. Because even though that ruined our day, we just gotta maintain composure. And that's it. D simple as that. Alright, so guys, we only have two more rounds. And we've done absolutely nothing. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna train the zombies around. I got an idea. I'm gonna take these zombies with me. We're gonna go back to spawn. And we're gonna activate this double points. Here they are, they're coming. Oh, here we go. Getting put points right now. Making up for our loss from that nuke. Oh, max ammo too? Yeah. Yeah. We got a decent amount. Guys, wow, it's already round five. What have you even accomplished? If I'm just being honest, I have to say this has been a horrible run. Oh, yes, double points. Let's go. Here we are, take two. There's no way we're gonna do as bad as last time. No way. No more nukes at round two. No more of that. We're actually gonna try this time. So same thing as last time. We're gonna save the double points for round four. I don't wanna do it at round five because if we accidentally kill the last zombie, that will be horrible. So in terms of staffs, there's actually three options for us. We have the ice staff, the wind staff, and the lightning staff to try to choose from with maximum efficiency. But the one I'm going to go for is the Lightning Staff for two reasons. One, it's probably the easiest to build by round five, in my opinion. And number two, I think it might be the most effective non-upgraded. Oh, guys, did you just see that? Now we're going to use our techniques. All right. We're using the double points. So how we use this double points is going to make us or break us. Come on. Okay, here they are. What is that? Oh, that's that moss. Oh my gosh, look at these points! Look at these points! Wow! Wow! These points! No! It's okay! Without Z Juggernaut, this is gonna be very tricky. We're gonna mouse him down. No! Wow, we got so many points right now. Guys, we can mess around. Like, we can actually. I say no, no messing around. We can mess around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Alright, let's leave those two alone. Oh my So guys, might I just tell you, I'm a little bit rusty, as you guys may tell. But this one will be the run. The run to be remembered for the rest of your, my, our lives. This run will be the run. No more messing up. No more. Maximized efficiency, period. That's it. End of story. Nothing else. I seek the truth. And this run will be the one. Give me the truth. Except the M14, because that's the weapon we'll be using. And we could get the AK-74U, but this one just costs cheaper. We're going to get the same amount of points and damage for it, too. You guys know what time it is. It's time for the Juggernaut. Let's just get this tank thing done right now.
There we go. Guys, I think if we can keep this zombie alive and it doesn't somehow die, even though I put no damage into it and it always dies out, even though I don't even put damage into it, if we can somehow make it through this round without the zombie dying and us being able to get this part, we will be golden. Alright, at least we can build the shield. That's a huge, huge plus. Oh my gosh, if I missed that, I would have been so mad. Now. Ooh, if I missed that. Oh, uh, zombie died out. That's okay. We got what we wanted. Wow, we're we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. So you see this right now. You see this. This majesty is becoming a reality. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Wow. We're, go we're going to do this. Let's just accept the fact that we're going to do this. Guys, we got the lightning staff by round five. Wow, I can't believe we managed this. Like, sometimes being overly paranoid does work. And when you're making sure there's no way you're gonna fail, you won't fail. Sometimes. And that's exactly what we did. Just remember, sometimes, you just gotta make sure you do it. Just be as overly paranoid as possible. Make sure you do every single thing right. Don't make any mistakes. As long as you avoid making mistakes, you'll be fine. Just don't do unnecessary things. All right, gotta be back at spawn. We got the Juggernaut and a Lightning Staff. If you ask me, I I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Now we got Quick Revive. This is what I was talking about. Okay, this is where the challenge begins. Okay, we gotta figure out a strategy. Guys, keep in mind, we can also get Double Tap if you spend a lot of points. So here's what we're doing. We're gonna keep buying the M14 and the Ballista so we'll eventually get enough points spent in order to get the free double tap. All right, I think we're gonna try to train it out here. This is the Panzer round. This is why we got the Lightning Staff in the first place. It's gonna come any second now. I am scared for my life. Come at me, Panzer. Oh my gosh, here he is! I'm sorry. I don't speak Japanese. Get him! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, that was epic. We got a good train strategy. Oh no! Oh my god, the lag! Oh! Nuke! Wow guys, this is already insane. Oh, we're, we don't have a shield anymore. We don't have a shield anymore. Wow. Run round 14. Oh! Guys, this is insane! Oh! So yeah, boys. Double tap 2.0. We got three perks now. <sighs> Round 16. Get hyped! I have to reload my M14. No! It's all dependent on how long we can keep this landing staff without running out of ammo. Ah! The complete dominance! Crawlers? I don't want crawlers. My lightning staff's starting to poop out a little bit. Oh, wow, guys. Round 20 in the Origins starting room. We did have a lightning staff, but we worked for that lightning staff. Even with the lightning staff. This little tiny room with just no safety, no security. Like I feel insecure within the starting room. But we're still doing it. We're still going strong. GET AWAY! <gasps> ah! That's our first red screen this game! Guys, we're in this. We're in this to win this. This one right here, it's hard, but it's fun at the same time. It, it also got some easy elements to it because of the lighting staff. I think it's easy because of the lighting staff, but it's still hard because of the space. Like, it's not- It's never a guaranteed data! When we get up, we have to get quick revive. I don't even know if we'll get quick- This could be it, guys. This is it. This is it. Get quick revive. Get quick revive. Before we die. Oh no! Get back, get quick revive. Get it, get it. No, get away! Oh, we're done with quick revives. That's it. 
Wow. Wow. Round 23. This is probably it. We have no more Z Jagannoh. And we have no more double tap. Although it didn't matter since you had the lightning staff. But still. Let's wait. Let's wait for this. Okay. Oh, another nuke. What? Oh, no. And a panzer. Get that. Get that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Aim and a panzer. Oh. Nuke. Wow. We made it through round 23. No jug. We did down, though, but that was such a fake down. Okay. We got to focus. Focus mode. Oh. We can't just get by with one shot anymore. Oh, he didn't even reload! Good, no! No, we're, we're still in this. Reload, reload! It's dead, and oh, we're dead, yep. Wow. I'm speechless. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I guess this is the time where I can explain why I've been so inconsistent with my uploading. And all I gotta say is that Right now, I'm a senior in high school. I know I've been using that excuse all past couple months, but right now, I just I keep saying it's gonna get easier. I'm gonna have more time, but it literally just keeps getting harder and harder and harder. I get more and more work each week. Plus, I have SATs to worry about. I have college applications to worry about. But when this is all done and it comes to winter break, I'll be back in my groove. So what I'm saying for now is that. I would love to try and get more videos out, but there's no guarantee with the current situation I'm in. So just, so I want you guys to know that I'm not forgetting about you guys. I'm doing the best I can, although the best I can is probably not good enough, but I owe you guys. So when it comes to Thanksgiving break or winter break, I got some special things planned. Maybe a 10 types of players, not going to be a zombies one, but I'll surprise you guys. And I'm also going to be making the worst to best wonder weapons during winter break. And I've come up with a mathematical system for that video to eliminate as much bias as possible. So it should be a fun video to watch. And with the streaming, I know I said I'd do it every week. And obviously that's not the case. So the thing is, I like to stream. I like interacting with you guys, seeing what you guys have to say about my horrible or even like okay gameplay and just playing the game. Whatever happens, happens. It's live. It's a fun time. Plus, I have started to upgrade my streaming service from Elgato to OBS. So I'll have all these annotations on the screen. I'll have my Twitter on the bottom of the screen or top of the screen, wherever I want. I'll be able to have donations pop up on the screen when you guys donate. And I'll have the cool animation. It's going to be more of a fun time than it already is. And I'm excited for it. But the reason I haven't kept up with trying to stream every week is because I don't want the amount of streams I do to override my video production. Like, I don't want to be one of those YouTubers who streams a lot more than they make videos. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing. I'm just saying that for my channel, I just want this to be a, more of a video-based channel, if that makes sense. And I'm saying over maybe winter break, even maybe when it comes back to summer break, I might even be able to be streaming every week again because I'll be able to make videos more consistently again. But at the time right now, it's just, you guys gotta understand, it's not working right now. I can maybe get one video out every one to two to three weeks on average. But this is gonna be the last time I use school as an excuse for why I'm not uploading videos. And after me saying this, you guys should just know that if I'm not uploading videos, it's not that I'm forgetting about you, it's not that I don't want to make a video, it's just that I've had so much to do with school, that's the last time I'm mentioning that school is the problem, that's the last time, I'm not gonna mention this as a problem again. I'm just gonna make videos when I can, and when I can really delve into the video I'm making and make the best quality content I can. I'm not gonna just make videos for the sake of making videos and just put them out there, I want them to be good videos. And one thing I want to add for when I have time, or even within the next few weeks, is that I'm planning on making a new series on my channel. And I haven't completely figured out how the series is going to work, but let me just pitch it to you guys right now. So the name of this series is going to be something within the lines of 3x3. Three three. And the way this is going to work is I'm going to go through every zombies map from Nocturne and Talton to Revelations, and I'm going to think about the three best things about the map, 
and the three worst things about the map. And one thing I also wanted to include is I wanted to have you guys be involved with the series. So I was also going to include three just random comments about the map, just so I can just get you guys involved. So I've thought about it, and the thing about the series is that the videos don't seem like they're going to take that long to make. So if I'm struggling and I don't have much time on my hands and I want to make a quality video, I'm going to make something for the series. And I think this will be a good series. I just, as long as you guys participate, I want as much participation as possible. Even if you guys don't get included, I just appreciate any kind of comments you'll have for me. So the first one will be Nocturne on Talton. Don't put your comments in this video, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to post this a random video of like, Hey guys, new series, here's how you can be involved. And then you can post a comment in that video. And then the three comments from that video will be included in the one of Nocturne on Talton. And that's all I have to say. So with that, I'll see you in the next video!